So today we're going to be going over five stunning, out of this world good citrus fragrances for the summertime. May is right around the corner and really for where I live, once you get into May, you start getting summer temperatures even though officially summer doesn't start until June. So I figured now would be the time to start rolling this video out for you guys to start giving you some good citrus fragrances to wear when it gets hot outside. This is not my top 10 summer list, that's going to be coming later on, probably closer to June, but I wanted to give you some good summer stunners, really good citrus based bright sparkling fragrances to kind of kick off the warmer temperatures that we have coming. First off we have Kenzo Low 2 Pour Ohm. This one has grapefruit, bitter orange, juniper berries, and spruce as some of the main notes. Now this one I find to be really quite interesting and actually very pleasant for the price. Uh, Kenzo has some great, great fragrances and they don't cost a whole lot. This one has a sparkling, almost semi-salty, bright, fizzy opening. That grapefruit in this one really shines and sparkles and pops off your skin and smells amazing. A lot of that fizziness that I'm talking about here comes from that grapefruit, also comes from the juniper berries, also kind of giving it a sparkling, bright, fizzy, almost uh, somewhat of a mixed drink type of smell right off the opening. This one here smells incredible. Semi-salty, sweet, nice, bright grapefruit. This is a stunning, stunning fragrance. A great grapefruit opening without having to pay a whole lot of money. I would say this one is a hidden gem and definitely worth picking up if you want something nice and bright for summertime. Number nine, we have Parfums de Marly Sedley. This one has mint, bergamot, lemon, grapefruit, orange, and ambrox in some of the main notes. So I wanted to list off most of those here because really you do get a whole lot of that citrus right off the top. That citrus, ambroxan, it's a bit fuzzy. It's also a bit sweet as well, but it's not a sweet fragrance. It is still primarily bright and fresh, just with a little bit of a kind of a masculine musk, bit of a sweetness and a fuzziness coming from that ambroxan. This one here, I have to say, is a stunner in the warm weather. This one is one that I picked up a lot last summertime just because of how bright it is. The mint gives it a nice kind of bright green opening and all of the citrus just gives it a nice fresh pop. Of course, it is a Parfums de Marly. It is gonna be a bit more expensive being that it is also a niche fragrance, but you can get this one on FragranceNet for a nice discounted price. So at the end of the day, in my opinion, it is worth grabbing if you want something bright and sparkling for summertime. At number eight, we have Carvin Low Intense. Mint, bergamot, lemon, and lavender are some of the main notes in this one. This was actually created by uh, Francis Kirkjohn and Jerome D. Marino. And I think this is also another hidden gem. Carvin in general doesn't get talked about that much, and especially this one, I don't hear about all that often, but it is a really nice, pleasant, fresh summer fragrance. Kirk John does it best himself. He's really good with citrus and uh, accords like that. And this one here, it really shows. It shines, it sparkles, it pops. And there's a bit of a clean lavender here in the base, which gives it a bit more substance, a bit more depth than maybe some of the other ones in this list. But overall, it is still primarily very bright and fresh, very sexy and fun to wear in the summertime. At number seven, we have Zinnia Aqua di Bergamato. This one has bergamot, citruses, and florals as some of the main notes in this one. So really, it's gonna be all about the bergamot here in this one, no surprise at all. Now, it's not the most high quality bergamot fragrance out there because this is a cheapie, but it does do a really good job of representing a nice, bright, juicy bergamot. Get a bit of a floral touch in here, a lot of musk, a bit of woods. The dry down is a bit more on the generic side. Again, it is a cheaper scent, so it is a cheaper alternative compared to some of the others in this list, so that you kind of get what you pay for in this instance. But it is still a really solid fragrance. Can't complain about this one. And also it has the uh, Lalique bottle here going on. Um, if you've had any Lalique fragrances, you probably realize that this is the same exact bottle just looks different. They got different styling on the cap and everything, but I mean, it's kind of a stock bottle. It is a cheaper fragrance again, but it is really good. The scent is all that matters, and while it's not the highest quality bergamot, it's no Le Labo Bergamot 22 or Zerjop Neo or anything like that, it is really good for the price. One that you could spray on heavily in the summertime and smell fantastic. At number six, we have Mansara Vetiver Sensuel. This one has lime, orange, lemon, bergamot, mint, and vetiver is some of the main notes. Another extensive note breakdown here. All of these have pretty decent sized note breakdowns, but the ones with a ton of citrus, I want to list off for you guys, obviously, for this video. And you get a whole bunch of that when you first spray this one on. And I was not expecting that in the slightest. When I saw vetiver, I was thinking of a strong, earthy, somewhat smoky vetiver fragrance coming out of Mansara. That's just kind of what I would expect from them. But really, 
they do have quite a bit of offerings that are fresh and bright. I mean, look at Sicily, look at even Sadrap Boise, which isn't so much fresh and bright, but very fruity. While you may think that they're known for their oud, strong fragrances like red tobacco, they do have some very bright ones as well. This one kind of fitting into Sicily and a few of their other citrus-based fragrances, which are very bright and something that I normally don't expect from Mancera. You do get a vetiver here in the base, but it's not a strong, smoky, earthy vetiver like I was thinking. It's more of a clean, fresh, mild vetiver, kind of giving a uh, support to all of the citrus that you get up top. This one smells fantastic. It's very strong. There's nothing that I can say that I dislike about this one. It's got that Mancera performance, which is very strong. It's a really nice scent to have around. Now, if you want one of these for yourself, you can grab one at twistedlily.com. You can use the link down below, and you can also use my code CHAOS10 to get 10% off site-wide. It'll work for this. It'll work for any other Mancera, any other Nishane, Surjoff, Creed, Parfums de Marley, which they've recently added. Really, any niche brand you can think of, Twisted Lily is going to have it, and that code CHAOS10 is always active, and it works for everything, so make sure you check that out down below. At number five, we have a new release. This one is Dolce & Gabbana Forever. Now, this one has grapefruit, violet leaf, and ozonic notes is some of the main notes. And not often that a basically brand new release starts filtering into lists this quickly for me, but this one has won me over. There's something special about this one. Another grapefruit heavy scent, kind of similar to the Kenzo, where in the opening that grapefruit really sparkles and pops and shines and it's very effervescent and bright. It's just unlike most other citrus fragrances out there. The opening is by far the best part of this scent. It will capture your attention and make you fall in love. It is light, airy, ozonic. Um, from the ozonic notes, the violet leaf gives off a watery feel, which kind of ties it back to the light blue line. Overall, I have to say, one of my favorite releases so far, and easily one of the best from the line. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Forever. It is an Eau de Parfum, which is also really nice. And I have to say, this one here, they really hit the nail on the head. Great, great new release. At number four, we have John Varvatos Artisan Pure. This one has clementine, pettigrain, orange, and lemon as some of the main notes. Now, this one picked up a whole bunch of hype when it first came out, and uh, it's definitely deserved. This is a really, really good citrus-based, somewhat herbal fragrance for the price. Now, it's not as cheap as it used to be. It was uh, a lot cheaper. Now, it has gone up in price. I think a lot of it due to the hype, but it's worth spending the money on this one. It's still not a niche price. I mean, it's still well under 100 bucks, but it's not your usual John Varvatos price. Still worth every penny. It's bright, it's refreshing, it's musky, it's clean. Really, the bottle and the name is a good fit for the scent. It's pure, it's clean, it's fresh. Everything about this one works so well. Uh, just a really nice one for summertime, and this one will really set you apart from the crowd. Honestly, like a lot of these fragrances will. We're not going over your typical Dior Sauvages and Nautica Voyages in here. I'm trying to give you some different choices, and this one, you will not be smelling like anyone else when you wear Artisan Pure. At number three, we have Zerjoff Mephisto Gentle Womo. This one has grapefruit, lavender, and violet is some of the main notes. Now, the original Mephisto gets compared to Silver Mountain Water by Creed, and I've done a video on that a long time ago. Whether you want to watch that video is up to you or not, it's kind of an old video, and I don't even like to watch it. Uh, and this one is a flanker of a Zerjoff. So it's a flanker in the Zerjoff line, which is kind of cool, something that a lot of niche brands are going to. And this one sets itself farther apart from the original Mephisto and also from Silver Mountain Water. You don't get tea, you don't get ink from this one. It's all about that nice citrus opening, that violet in here. Bright, refreshing, it's also a bit floral as well, but it works really well in the summertime. I love the bottle on this one. That nice light blue frosted glass fits this fragrance perfectly. Makes it really, really fitting for hot summer days. This one here is a stunner, a bit more expensive. Twisted Lily does have this one, but it is worth the investment if you're into citrus and you want something that is ultra high quality like you would expect from Zerjoff. Number two, we have Versace Pour Homme. Lemon, bergamot, neroli, and musk are some of the main notes in this one. At number two, we have a sub $50 fragrance. Let that sink in. At number two, a sub $50 fragrance. What does that mean? That means that this fragrance is a great, great bang for your buck fragrance. I would say, and this is really one of the only times you're going to hear me say this, if there is one fragrance that legitimately every single person should own, it's Versace Porome. I can't say that about everything. I could probably say that about 
I don't know, maybe a couple other fragrances, but I'm talking every single person who is into fragrances, whether you have three or 300 or 3,000, uh, if you have any sort of fragrance interest, you should own this one. That's how good it is. That's how wearable it is. That's how just anyone could like this one legitimately. It's so mass appealing. It's so fresh. It smells so great. It's kind of creamy. It's floral, but very fresh and citrusy. Ultra versatile, could be a signature scent, could wear any time of the year for any situation. This here is a stunner. It came out a while ago, but it is never gonna go out of style. Timeless DNA that you can never get tired of. And again, all of that that I just said, plus sub $50, makes this one pretty much a no-brainer. And last up, we have one that is unfortunately not sub $50, but this one does come in at number one. In my opinion, just one of the best bergamot citrus fragrances out there. Another one from Zerzhov. They've really kind of showed up in this list. This one is Neo. We've got bergamot, neroli, and just overall some green notes in here. A bit of woods. Uh, for me, a bit of a musk. A bit of a floral touch as well, mostly coming from the neroli, but man, is this a stunner. The bergamot is mouth-watering, juicy, sweet, fizzy, and bright, unlike anything else I've ever smelled. This one blew my mind a long time ago when I first smelled it from a sample. Just recently did I acquire a bottle, and I have to say it is a killer, killer fragrance for the warm weather. I'll make this one my scent of the day or kind of evening. I actually haven't worn anything today. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance here. If you've not tried Zerzhov Neo, highly recommend you do. And this is another one where it is going to be a bit more expensive and also a bit harder to pick up online, but Twisted Lily does carry this one. And again, that code Chaos10 is going to work for this or any other fragrance site-wide. For some of their more popular offerings, they do carry and offer samples so you can purchase through and grab some different samples like a variety set. Uh, just go through and look and that code will save you 10% off those samples as well. Highly recommended. If you're into bergamot, if you're into citrus, if you want to spend a bit more money and grab yourself a nice luxury uh, summer fragrance, one to wear on special occasions, on date nights, on evenings, or whatever it may be, Neo is probably going to be one of your best bets. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance here. Really a work of art, and it does have good performance. So guys, that's going to do it for me. That is 10 out of this world good stunning citrus fragrances for summertime. Let me know what some of your favorites are down below. Do you like the ones in this list? Are there some that you would have added? Let me know. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.